We're watching films on the toilet Cause that's what dads have to do When the movie's unsuitable for your kids Then pretend you need a number two If you need a break from your family or spouse There's a lavatorial picture house Watch Terminator 2 while you're sitting on the loo Enjoy the whole of Rambo 4 with your trouts on the floor We're watching films on the toilet How about you? Hey man. Hello. Sarsaparilla. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just having a brilliant chat about sarsaparilla. Offline. Yeah, I didn't really know what it was. I just heard of it in The Big Lebowski. Both of us know uh, sarsaparilla only from uh, that really cool cowboy. Yeah, sarsaparilla. I think it's a bit like root beer. I think I had it when I was in America, but I'm not sure. If you want to send us any sarsaparilla, yeah. then please do. Uh, speaking of sarsaparilla, we have a guest today. Oh, yeah. Called Ben. Was he the inventor of sarsaparilla? <laughs> no, but he's from the USA, hey. where people drink sarsaparilla. Guess what, guys? We're big time now. We have American guests, so suck it, I guess. Yeah, so Ben used to host a podcast called the, the Gorehead Podcast, and he is now uh, doing a YouTube channel with his sons called Mid Mitten RC, and they drive little like remote control cars, and they yeah. fly off ramps and blow up. It's brilliant yeah he uses fireworks to to make him go and stuff it's great which is very much up our alley isn't yeah, it oh so is yeah we are fans of fireworks love that sort of stuff i seem to remember going to your neck of the woods for a firework night mm. when we were oh, i don't know like 14 something like that yeah a friend of ours at the time fired a firework out of a long thin metal pipe mm-hmm uh, at Michael Antonucci's house. Mm-hmm. And Michael Antonucci, if you don't know, was the like the first lottery winner in Plymouth. Yeah. And he became quite a big deal. He's quite a celebrity. Um, so, of course, the obvious, the obvious thing is to fire rockets at his house. In fairness, this friend then also fired rockets at us as well. Like, he was quite yes. indiscriminate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And then threw a load of fireworks in a bonfire. I yeah. 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 <laughs> So yeah, I didn't go to your place again for firework night. Well, that wasn't in my house. That was at my tennis club. Yeah. Shout out to Man of Mead Tennis Club. <laughs> Represent. Yeah. Yeah. Hope you're listening. Hope you're listening, all the people who I used to play with. The old, all the grown-ups there are probably dead now. <laughs> Aww. So this week, we're going to be chatting about Spiderhead, mm. which is a, a new movie on Netflix directed by Joseph Kaczynski, mm. uh, starring Chris Hemsworth and Miles Teller. With Ben, who we mentioned. Yeah. Um, first up, got any correspondence, Amy? I have, yeah. Okay, then. Right. <clears throat> Dear the watching films on the toilet. Oh. I listened to your last podcast and it made me really cross. Oh. You said that pest control experts were exaggerating the dangers of rats coming out of people's toilets in a cynical attempt to drum up business for themselves. <laughs> this couldn't be further from the truth. If anything, we've been underplaying the dangers of massive toilet rats. (laughs) This one time, a rat treaded water for two days, then managed to get into my Toyota Igo, hotwire the engine, and then purposely drove it into a wall after I'd just paid off the last instalment. And another time, a massive rat dressed up in my wife's clothes, then when I came home from the pub, seduced me in front of my real wife. (laughs) All this after treading water for two days. Another time, a big rat ate my house. This time, I don't know how long he'd been treading water for, but I'm guessing it was a long time because he was very hungry because, as I mentioned, he ate my house. (laughs) Wise up, toilet boys. John Golding. I mean, we, we have severely underestimated these rats, haven't we? Yeah. You got any correspondence there, Ben? I have, yes. We've received um, a voice note oh, yeah. from someone pretty famous. Hi there, this is Christian Bale. Just wanted to mention something you brought up on the last episode of your podcast about Kelly McGillis not being recast in the Top Gun sequel. I, I know exactly how she feels because I played a character in a pretty major franchise and then I wasn't recast in the sequels and I've never really spoken out about it but I think I made pretty good John Connor and uh, yeah as an actor you you don't say anything because you don't want to appear as difficult but inside you're thinking who the f*** do you think you are? kick your f***ing ass some f***ing producer's gonna tell me f***ing no no 
Please explain to me why the f this is happening because I don't fucking understand. No, don't you? F I saw you looking, looking like you don't have a fucking care in the world. You fucking da 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 da. Oh, I'm a fucking producer. I don't. Oh, now you're listening. Oh, good. I'm fucking done. Blimey. Well, he. Uh... Do uh, you know what's good? The audio there did a brilliant job at capturing the accent dipping in and out of the American. Yes. So I know that that was real. Yes. But I've just very well observed. Lovely. Okay. Bit of toilet news for you? Absolutely. Bring it on. Dad punched KFC manager after getting stuck on toilet with no loo roll. Okay. Yep. Makes sense. Right. So this is brilliant, actually. This is about toilets and angry dads, Ooh. which is exactly what this podcast is that about. That is our wheelhouse. It is our yeah. wheelhouse. An angry dad has been fined after he seriously lost the plot and punched a manager when he was caught short after using toilets at KFC. Kenneth Scott went to the toilet while his wife and son stood in line but realised there was no loo roll. Oh. Prosecutor John Stark said Scott went to the counter to complain but says he was left standing there for 20 minutes before anyone spoke to him. When he showed the manager there was no soap in the dispenser, he was told by the manager, if you're smart enough, you'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fairness. But if someone says that to you, you probably are going to laugh them out. The it's funny, and I kind of respect the manager for, for saying that, <laughs> but also, he also does kind of deserve to get yeah, chinned. I mean, that's it's very much his job to sort that out. <laughs> it's, yeah. And uh, he's just, <laughs> oh, you'll figure it out, mate. In fairness, though, I mean, I've not been to the KFC for, for a long time, but mm. in most restaurants like that, is there not like serviettes in an easily accessible place? Yeah, but I'm thinking this guy went in, didn't realize, did his business, mm. and then, you know, he's got nowhere to turn. You're not going to run back into the restaurant with your mid session to try and grab serviettes no but it's, it says his wife and son were up there and they went out to ask so if he's punching anyone in the back of the head it should be his wife and yeah. his son <laughs> for not fetching this getting the serviettes wow. <laughs> <laughs> i mean he could have used chicken yeah do you maybe he could like peel the batter off and use that yeah and then he could obviously use uh use the chicken bone to get any difficult bits the wishbone <laughs> yeah when you finish using it, you make a wish yeah that's right <laughs> <laughs> hello hello hey hey guys hey ben can, can we come in please uh let me just finish up here and then uh yeah okay all right yeah we're good you done shall we wait Eamon, or shall we go in let's crack on all right all right, you said it. We're in. Usually, you really have to have to come in quite heavy-handed to get access to someone's toilet. This is the easiest access we've ever had. I'm free. I'm I'm a free person. <laughs> and your toilet reflects that in your personality. It does. I'm a love of musical theatre. There's a Hamilton poster on the wall. Les Mis. Really. Yeah. <laughs> it, it would actually. It would probably be a Metallica poster, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hid, yeah, they're hidden behind the other ones. You've, right, uh, exactly. For guests, I put out the fancy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, and thank you for joining us. So, um, so well, let's let's talk about how we how we came to be. So, Ben, I think it's uh, fair for me to say you you quite enjoyed our show, which is a, a first, I would say, and uh, you got in contact with us, which is very sweet of you. I love your show. You guys crack me up on a weekly basis. And we've also been very much enjoying your YouTube channel where you r race RC cars around with your boys. Yeah, uh, Mid Mitten RC. Just kind of started last summer. Originally, it started out as, yeah, just RCs. But this summer, we're kind of branching out, just doing stupid, goofy stuff, trying to make our own smoke bombs. I would love to try and track down some of that, that super super stinky fish uh the sir stramen or whatever it's called try and do the sir stramen challenge <laughs> just you know just goofing around cool yeah we're just having fun we're just having fun it does look like a lot of fun it's the opposite of this isn't it ben yeah not <laughs> having fun in here at all we, and that's uh, going to be difficult actually obviously you're both called ben so i'm yes. gonna have to just off the top of my head let's just say cool ben and dick ben Okay. <laughs> you happy with that? You know who's who. I think I'll be able to judge by your tone, Eamon. You'll be a lot more elevated and excited when you speak to our guest, Ben. Whereas for me, it'll be, it'll be sort of talking down, won't you? 
That's almost right. like very patronizing in your tone yeah, like you always it, are if i cut across a particular ben i think we know which ben it'll be yeah. yes we do yes we do lovely so this week we're talking about the film spiderhead which just popped on to netflix which is directed by joseph kaczynski yeah who directed top gun which we talked about last week the new the new top gun so this is one of his um so how did you watch this ben obviously you know what the podcast called but Let's see how you watched <laughs> Spiderhead. I I did actually watch it on the toilet. Yes. Yes. We actually just came back from vacation and I had far too much bad stuff to eat. <laughs> right. So I spent I spent the better part of a day and a half in the bathroom <laughs> uh, recovering. So I had plenty of time to watch the film. Excellent. It's good. Yes, the post-holiday cleanse, as it's now. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> That's great. That's good. What mm. about you, Eamon? Yeah, watched in, watched in the toilet, didn't I? Of course. Of course I did. Of course you did. Of course you definitely, did. De- I definitely did. I definitely did it. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, what about you? What about you? Yeah, I also definitely did. It was Saturday morning. I managed to grab an hour and then uh, Saturday afternoon managed to watch the rest. So, yeah, you know, it's what you do, right? That's what you do. Mm-hmm. That's what a man does. Um, so we got through it. And as you know, Ben, on this show, we have something like it's called The Summer We, in which I attempt to summarize the movie that we're talking about in the time it took you to do a very long we. So what, what did you drink for me this week? Well, as I said, I was in the bathroom quite a bit. Um, yeah. So I needed to recover some of those fluids and mm. electrolytes and stuff. I actually managed to have some Lucasade shipped in. Oh, oh wow. So I, I actually had uh, five bottles of the orange, <laughs> which I'm not a big fan of the orange flavor, but okay. I figured you guys would probably know what the Lucasade is. Yeah, we do. Right. We do yeah, yeah. yeah. Is. And uh, it took uh, a minute and three seconds. Okay. But yeah. with the conversion from metric to standard it's actually probably more like a minute and 22 okay. <laughs> <laughs> excellent yeah that's important nice. i mean there is a divide between us i'm glad that we've sorted that out yeah 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 it's kind of like good. scaling it's like scaling the temperatures like when you say like 101 degrees yeah we have to fit that to, to centigrade and, yeah. and it's the same with american and british wheeze there's yes. a scaling effect <laughs> There is. I mean, there yeah. should be, right? I mean, that's the way it's supposed to work, right? It's always worked. I mean, that is why uh, the succession happened, right? It was to do with the, the length of wheeze. <laughs> uh, right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was it. The Boston Wee Party. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ah, but I'm... <laughs> I've never say anything funnier. No, you won't. All right, I'm going to give it a go. So I've got one minute 22 um Eamon are you ready okay three two one go so there's this high-tech prison in the middle of nowhere called Spiderhead which has a bunch of long-term offenders who've agreed to take part in a chemical research project the project is overseen by the handsome and charming Chris Hemsworth who's testing the effects of various emotion altering drugs whilst also becoming addicted to them there's a laughter chemical a love chemical a tripping chemical a chemical that makes you speak real good and a chemical that causes intense psychological pain called Darken Flocks, which was most certainly an 80s German metal band. Miles Teller, an inmate who killed his best friend and his girlfriend in a drunk driving accident, becomes reluctant to take part in the experiments when he's asked to administer Darken Flocks to the other prisoners. As bad things start to happen, he discovers that Chris Hemsworth is actually the head of a pharmaceutical company, and the whole point of this experiment is to perfect an obedience drug, which doesn't really work. Eventually, Miles escapes with his child-killing girlfriend, and Chris Hemsworth crashes a plane into a mountain because he thinks it's heaven or something mm. the end wow 57 seconds 0.44 is that my first time i've done it under a minute it might be oh wow i mean your boston wee party joke my very <laughs> <good summer. laughs> we're on we're on fire all right good stuff so ben i know you used to host a podcast the gorehead podcast in terms of horror where would you say this film sits so i'm going 10 is like the exorcist martyrs maybe one is maybe the wizard of oz with the witch where do you think this hit sits in the horror scale a three at best yeah i mean there was a couple twists and turns but for the most part yeah I, it was not very suspenseful no it wasn't very even the part where that woman 
she kills herself, doesn't she? Oh, yeah. It just looked mm. a bit naff. What did you think, Eamon? Did that get to you? No, I think because they telegraphed it so clearly. I Actually, to begin with, I thought, oh, she's going to go and kill the assistant when he comes into that room. But then there's there's like a moment where she stops and looks at the spike for about 12 seconds. <laughs> yeah. And I thought, hmm, I think I know what's going to happen next. And, yeah. and sure enough, that, that is what happened. It wasn't a horror movie, was it? I would say science fiction thriller, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Was the guy, the main guy, I, I don't even remember his name. Chris Hemsworth? Is that Thor or is that the yes. other Hemsworth? That's Thor. Okay. That's, <laughs> that's handsome right. Thor, yeah. He's too damn pretty for his own good. He's ridiculous. Do you feel like he played a convincing, I'm assuming he was meant to be kind of like a billionaire, you know, genius, that kind of type, wasn't he? Did, did he do a good job? Not necessarily. And I think it was the fake glasses. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, they weren't real glass and you can always tell so that takes me out of it <laughs> unfortunately i do i do i genuinely think like you he is so leading man material it, it's yeah. almost impossible for him to do anything else imagine if that was like a, a mocap performance and they they had like a cgi <laughs> geek i'd have been like wow this guy's yeah totally buy it yeah. But he he was he's, he just looks too good. He's too too pretty for his own good, I think. Mm. I think you're right. I think I'm kind of bored of this whole like genius billionaire thing. Like billionaires are not most of them are not geniuses. They're just really manipulative. I've met very sort of successful people in like television, for example, mm. and they just have that sort of like charm. You know, when he was trying to talk Miles Teller into doing all that bad stuff and he's just like, oh, yeah, no, tell me about it. I yeah. can't believe we've got to do this awful thing. And it's like, that is exactly how those those people behave. You try and act like that, don't you, Eamon? You try and portray the whole billionaire thing, but it just, it just doesn't really work. Too ugly. Too ugly yeah. to make it work. That's right. That's what they say. Just I'm not listening to you, ugly man. I'm not doing that stuff. <laughs> It's all about how you present yourself. Dress yeah. for success. Done that whenever I've done that, I am wearing a string vest and uh, shorts that pulled up. I pulled my shorts up as high as they can. So they're yeah. almost breast level. <laughs> and I'm just like, why are you not taking me seriously? You're like a, an 80 year old Greek man on the beach. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, why don't you just take just take these drugs? I usually try to go out in Jedi robes and you know, these are not the droids you're looking for, and it never yeah. works. Oh, yeah. that just that stinks of billionaire, doesn't it? Like Jedi robes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. it's interesting, like uh as soon as you you know, they establish all oh, right, it's a prison, so immediately your first thing is like, Oh, I wonder what crimes they committed. Mm. Right. And so Miles Teller, uh drink driving Obviously not very good, but, you know, not the worst. And then I kind of thought with, uh, is it Lizzie? They went, uh, oh, I killed killed my child. And I was like, oh, my God, like, that's gutsy. Yeah. And then she went, oh, it left it in the car because I was working so hard. And I just kind yeah. of felt like that was it sort of like, you know, bailed out a little bit. Anyway, I was going to read out some crimes. These are British crimes. So uh, you tell me if one of our fictional characters had, had done this thing, whether you it, you would like them or not, okay. whether it's acceptable to have done this crime. Right. Okay. Attempt to injure or alarm the sovereign. <laughs> so like uh, if you hid in a bush, wait, waited for the queen to walk past and went, oh! If I had to guess, I'd say yes, that's a, that's an offensible crime. Oh, the, yeah. These are all, these are all actual crimes. That That's an actual crime. But my question to you is, is if, Miles Teller had had alarmed the sovereign. Would you would you like him or not? Would you root for him? Would you root for him? Oh, I'd definitely root for him if he was scaring the Queen Mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would too. I'm not sure. I I would have loved if they'd been bold in their choice of that. Like he's been locked away. He's got a life sentence. Yeah. But jumping out on the queen yeah i think i actually would have liked him more that would have made it quite interesting i don't know why they don't sort of push the, the boat out a little bit so for example fraudulent application of trademark why not i don't know about that you I'm not sure. root for him <laughs> not root for that guy don't know nah. i mean that's that's I want theft. To pass. Yeah. <laughs> that is theft. this yeah. guy here tried to copyright coca-cola <laughs> boo dark and flocks dark and flocks <laughs> that's what he would have done isn't it <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, they're good. They're good. All right, you got another one. I mean, Ben, you. I know that these all sound like made-up British ones, but this is an actual one as well. Uh, neglecting to provide food for or assaulting servants. <laughs> Actual crime. Actual crime. So you're starving your slaves. Um, <laughs> throw the book at them. I would have liked if Miles Teller had dressed up like a, with a monocle. <laughs> like, oh, what do we acknowledge? Because <laughs> he starved his servant. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Sex with adult relative. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, just, yeah, give him the axe. Bring out the DT. <laughs> I mean, if Lizzie had, if we'd found out that Lizzie had done that, that would have been so weird. You'd have to work your balls off as a filmmaker to make that person sympathetic. <laughs> I like that. They were good. What about these, these, these drugs? I mean, um, which, which one was your favorite? Which one do you think you'd rather have a go on? <laughs> The one, the sexual one. Oh, the, the one that made you fall in love? Mm. Yeah. I guess I'll give that a whirl. <laughs> depending, I get, well, I should say depending on the partner. There was that scene that was pretty funny where he's just sat opposite that huge stack dude who threw his girlfriend out of a 10 story <laughs> building. And he was like, no. Um, Eamon, what about you? That was how you uh, managed to trap your wife, wasn't it? With that chemical and then you just well, <laughs> it's you're not you're not far wrong i happened to meet my wife in this really small window mm. where at the time i was really slim and really good looking for about three weeks <laughs> and i managed to snag my wife in that period yeah and then i got my hooks into real good mm. and then uh got all fat again <laughs> and by that time too late that's yeah. such a sweet story <laughs> <laughs> What about a bit of verbalus? Do you think that would work for the podcast? Well, it's, it's worth a shot, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Nah, oh, you guys yeah. stay on natural with the podcast. No. Okay, we won't well, take verbalus. No, but, but before each podcast, we do each do a speedball, don't we? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we do. Like, yeah. Although, like, uh, although the podcast on Dark and Fox. <laughs> I mean, honestly, man, I don't think we've been far off <laughs> at times. Okay, all right. Sorry, boys. Just going to interrupt you there. We've got a uh, an advert to read out. Oh. Have you had problems with massive rats treading water in your toilet for two days and then coming in your house and ruining your life? Contact J Golding Exterminators to get your peace of mind back. Just listen to some of our satisfied customers. A big rat came up my toilet, challenged me to a fight and sparked me out. Jay Golden Exterminators came over and poisoned the A rat convinced me it was Bruce Forsyth and made me look like an idiot in front of my friends when I told them he was still alive. I was very happy when Jay Golden killed it with a big spike. Rat climbed out my dunny and hid inside my hat and controlled my movements in my mind. Helped me win three Michelin stars. He completely changed my life. But I am glad he's dead. Those are just a few of Jay Golding's satisfied customers. So back to the chat. But okay, here's here's a question for you. Which of these, obviously Miles Teller is very reluctant to give the Darken Flocks away. Mm -hmm. Which of these people would you give Darken Flocks to? Okay, uh -huh. so you can choose yes or no. Uh, Keanu Reeves. No. Nah. No? Okay, okay. Daniel Radcliffe. Ooh. That's a good one. Under normal circumstances, I would say no, but it would be <laughs> funny as hell to see him <laughs> on Darker Flocks. Oh, Jared Leto. Yes. Yes. Yeah. What is it about him? Because I don't like him. No one likes him. What, what has he done? He has that kind of cult leader sort of vibe about him. Doesn't he have his own cult? Oh, well, then we sh he, should get, he should definitely have it. Okay. What about uh, Amy Schumer? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Give her a double dose. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Chris Pratt. Now, which one is that? Chris Pratt is Star Lord. Okay. And he was in the new Jurassic Park movies. I don't know enough. I don't know. You guys got a bird over there? It's my. It's my. <laughs> sorry. What is it? 
it's a haunt. Like i have cleaning out. This this shows my glamorous life. I was clearing out, doing some <laughs> spring cleaning today, and I found this little horn that I'd hidden on top of our wardrobe because it makes this ludicrous noise and they can't help themselves. And because I'm so sick of the clutter, I was just like, right, this is going back in their bedroom. That is why I hid it because it sounds ludicrous. And it's like about an hour, an hour past their bedtime now. What, so is it self-activating? Talking. How does it? How has it gone off again? It's a horn. So she's my daughter's still awake. Oh, she, so she's found it. She's found it, and then uh, because right. it makes a great noise, she's <laughs> giving it a few squeaks. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, I would have just thrown it as far down the street as I could. I should have. I should have done. My wife had an electric toothbrush, and it was in the middle of the night in the bathroom. It just wouldn't stop. This electric toothbrush, it wouldn't stop doing its thing. So in the end, I had to go and bury it in the back garden at two o'clock in the morning just to stop it because it was making such a racket. It was really weird. And by electric toothbrush, do you mean beloved pet? This is about that time you murdered your cat, Ben, and then buried it in the garden. (gasps) How dare you? My cat's just walked in. Don't let her hear that. (laughs) Was it Ben or was it James Cameron? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, everybody, yeah. Ben's been using that as a smoke screen. Oh, that bloody to... James Cameron been in my house again. He killed another one of my cats. <laughs> I had to bury a dog for James Cameron in the, at 2 a.m. That's what it was. Anyway, okay. Um, we've got, right, how about... Uh, Why did Dan- you bury it in the garden? Like, <laughs> right. surely... Because I couldn't put it anywhere in the house where it wouldn't, like, you could just hear it going... Brrr. So I couldn't, I couldn't leave it in the house. So I thought, what can I do with it? It won't stop. So I just, I just Natural stuck thing. it, like buried it in the garden. So why wouldn't you not just it. put it in the bin outside? Because it would have shook the bin all night long. It yeah, really because going. the na- natural thing was to have buried it in the garden. <laughs> okay, at two o'clock in the morning, maybe I wasn't thinking straight. Let's, yeah, yeah. let's go that. Let, I maybe could have done something else. So when you came in <laughs> back into your bedroom, like caked in mud, like sweating... Yeah. Your yeah. right. wife was like, "What? What happened to you? You were like just buried, buried that toothbrush." And she was like, "No problem, going back to sleep." <laughs> Is James Cameron still here? She said. <laughs> um, good. So anyway, I haven't finished. Three more people. Dame Judy Dench. Would you give her dark and flocks? Yeah. 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 The dame. The dame. What yeah. about um, Christopher Lloyd? Oh. oh. Yeah. No. Not now. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 20 years ago, yeah, but not now. Back to the future, Christopher Lloyd, yeah, probably. Okay, and last one, Clint Eastwood. Yeah, that'd be awesome to see. I think he would, I'd love to see, he's maybe like the most stoic man on the planet, so I'd love to see him, like, see how he he would react. Yeah, there you go. That's who we'd give uh, Mm. Dark and Flocks to. I mean, of course, what I'd actually do is get all the Dark and Flocks I could, put it in a pair of those sort of, like, fireplace billows, Stick it into James <laughs> Corden somehow and just go <laughs> like that. Stick it into James <laughs> Corden somehow. Kept it clean. Kept it clean. <laughs> I'm just going to turn a light on. Excuse me. Hang on. I can't see. I'm, I'm in the dark. So, Ben, you, you won't know this, but but other Ben, ah. he never has he's, he never has any facial hair at all. Like this is Good. the very this is the very first time I've ever I've known Ben for about thirty years I've ever seen him with a goatee, and it, it's difficult for you. This is this is your first take of him, and therefore you have no preconceptions. But it's very difficult to communicate how ludicrous he looks. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Well, thanks for that, Eamon. That's really sweet of you. Okay. Yeah. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about, Eamon? Other than my stupid beard? Uh, it's mainly your stupid beard. I if I'd known, if, if I'd known about the beard before, <clears throat> then I would have, I would have, I would have spent the last week preparing material about your beard. <laughs> I'm really, really annoyed that I've only just seen it. Oh yeah, me too. Okay, cool. Well, let's. Um, I mean, I think I know where we're going with this, but let's see whether we would flush. Uh, I've forgotten what it's called. Let's see whether we would flush <laughs> Spiderhead like, hmm, no, I haven't considered this, like you might flush contraband down the toilet in prison if you were caught with it. Very good. Okay. Or would we fish it out like Chris Hemsworth 
Pete's corpse would have been fished out <laughs> of the sea after he'd crashed into that island at the end. Let's start with our guest. Ben, would you flush this film or fish it out? Uh, definitely flushing it. Yeah. I just, it would have worked much better as a Black Mirror episode. It had the potential to be darker than it was, especially when they were giving the drugs to the prisoners. And I think it just would have worked as a darker movie better. So, yeah, definitely flushing it. Okay, cool. Eamon, what about you? This is going to make me sound like a massive contrarian, but I did moderately like this film. I think maybe because, I, I, as I've said many times, I don't like horror. And I know you guys both really like horror, know lots about horror, talk about it really knowledgeably. I don't like horror because it <laughs> makes me feel really stressed out. And uh, I know... For some people, it's like this exhilaration. I get it. It's like being on a roller coaster, and and I like going on roller coasters, but I, I hate horror because it's just I'm like, oh, make it go away. So I think because it didn't have that, I was just like, oh, I can watch this. Everything's quite low stakes. It's quite breezy. I mean, I'm not saying that I love this film, but I'd say I it, it, it would be maybe be like in the in like the mid fifties percentage wise. I I enjoyed it slightly more than I didn't enjoy it. What? So. <laughs> So you'd fish it out? Yeah, I'd fish it out. Yeah. All right, yeah, you got to say it. Okay, oh, sorry. All right. Yeah. yeah, all right. I Good thought, I mean, I out. thought it was sort of pretty obvious, but... you got to say it. you got to say yeah. it. Okay. Uh, you know, it's part of the thing. And what um, about you, Ben? I'd flush it. I yeah. just thought I wanted much, much more. Um, I thought it was... There were some good ideas, um, some nice performances. I could always watch Chris Hemsworth. But yeah, I just wanted it to be darker and more emotional and just, yeah, nastier. It just didn't go far enough for me. So I'm afraid mm. I'll flush it, which means two flushes, Yay. one fish. <laughs> this gets flushed. Good. All right. Cool. Well, that was a treat. Um, oh, thanks for having us, Ben. It's been a lovely time in your in your bathroom toilet place. Mm. You guys are welcome back anytime you feel fit. Oh, we we will uh, definitely take you up on that. So don't give us an invitation. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't give us an invitation like that. We'll never leave. <laughs> when, are these two, when are these two idiots gonna leave my toilet? <laughs> Well, we've we've bought our sleeping bags, haven't we? We've got, <laughs> do, our, yeah. got our pillows. So got my uh, provisions in my rucksack. Yeah, we just might make ourselves comfortable. Maybe you should leave. And we'll <laughs> stay in here. How about that? Let's flip that on its head. Fair enough. I'm All right, bye, Ben. <laughs> All right. Got the door behind you, yeah. All right. Yep. 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 Thank you, guys. Cheers. <laughs> so that was that was lovely, wasn't it? That was lovely, Ben. The, the film was meh, but Ben was awesome. So film, the, the film was, wasn't great, but we got to, to, to meet the best Ben so far, haven't we? The best mm. Ben. I, do, ooh, I don't know if I can agree with... Actually, yeah, you're right. Yeah, he he was, was definitely better than me. Yeah, definitely. he was. 100%. Do you want to do a podcast with him? <sighs> I'm going to reach out to him on uh, offline, <laughs> just, yep. just to see. thought you might. You, you do that quite a lot, don't you? You reach out to all our guests. So far, none of them have wanted to do a podcast. The only one who said yes was Rudy Giuliani. (laughs) It's just Rudy. Yeah. Um, Hi, thanks for coming on the show. Just wondering if you wanted to do a separate podcast with me. (laughs) No. Um, But best of luck, honestly. Keep trying. Uh, I'd happily see you do do one with someone else. Yeah. Well, and then that would give you free reign to do your noises, wouldn't it? (laughs) My noises podcast. (laughs) Mike, what's he called? What's his name? Oh, no. I was thinking of him the other day. Uh, what was he called? Oh my god, that's going to kill me. Foghouse. Foghouse. That's it. Foghouse. <laughs> there he is. That's, he called. <laughs> that's it. So yeah, my yeah. Foghouse podcast, which is what it would be called. Foghouse. Yeah. Noises with Foghouse. It Noises with Foghouse. Like a kind of S- ASMR thing. <laughs> yeah, but 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 really loud. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hi, and welcome to the Foghouse ASMR podcast with me, Foghouse. Brr, brr, brr. <laughs> <laughs> that, that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be good. I'll make yeah. it happen. Anyway, top five. So mm. this week's top five is films set on an island. Yeah. Duh. It'll be interesting to see where you've taken this, Eamon. 
Um, and and where I've taken it, whoever gets the most guesses gets to choose next week's film. And whoever mm. doesn't does one of those forfeits. Yeah. Which should be fun this week after the film we've just watched. <laughs> That's right. Um, cool. All right. Mm. So I lost last you week. Lost. So I get the first guess. Yeah. I'm going to say I'm not taking any chances. This is a duplicate. Jaws. Yes. Good. Good. Yeah, yeah. yes. Okay, right. Like I'm going to say for you, Battle Royale. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well done. Yeah. Very nice. Um, yeah, love Battle Royale. It's mm. mad. I'm going to go with Papillon. No. Oh, no. It was a gamble. <laughs> that oh. was a gamble. That was a big gamble. I think, but you like those kind of films, don't you? Those like, when's that come out? 70s. You like <laughs> 70s, don't you? Yeah, I do. I do quite like Papillon. But uh, it's not on my list. There's some other. There's some other good ones there. Time for Eamon to bring this bad boy home. Yeah, right. I'm going to say duplicate Jurassic Park. Yes, Jurassic mm. Park. God damn it. Oh, so if I don't get this, lost. This is another duplicate. The Truman Show. No. Oh, Eamon. It's not really on an island, is it? It is. He's on an island. He's on the main mainland USA. He's on an island. If I was going to stretch the truth, I mean, it is a brilliant film, and if I was Thinking laterally, I might put it in there, but he's playing on. a very straight bat, so no. No, he is on, he's actually on an island, that's like part of the thing. Sea Haven Island. Sea Haven. Island. I don't know, man, I, that feels kind of like, because it's on, it's on a set, isn't it? It's on a, yeah. essentially it's a stage. <laughs> I don't like losing. <laughs> and yet, you do it so often. I know, because... You're annoying. Um, okay, fine. I accept it. Yeah. I am smiling through my loss. Yeah. <laughs> so, what was your list then? So, I have Battle Royale, Jaws, mm. Jurassic Park, The Truman Show, and you're going to like this one. Mm-hmm. It's a French animated film <laughs> called The Red Turtle. Yeah, I would never have got that. It's beautiful. What about you? What was your list? Yeah, so I had Jaws, uh, Jurassic Park, uh, Castaway. Shutter Island and uh, Letters from Iwo Jima. I think you're smart, but then your choice is just fairly obvious. That's mm. what I need. I, I'm, I'm thinking too hard. You do. I'm always yeah. thinking too hard. Yeah, you are. Yeah. I do think too hard. Oh. It's like Tom Cruise said, you know, mm. if you think, you'll die. It's like Tom Cruise said, bring me more baby blood <laughs> or I'll kill you. Or I'll kill you. Exactly. Yeah, he exactly said that, that as well, didn't he? Um, all right. So what's my forfeit? Again. Not film based, you just need to keep that ridiculous beard for another week. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that, Eamon. No. It's my mum's birthday at the weekend, and I'm not sure how she's going to feel about me sporting this. Really? Well, what was she? How, what do you think she's going to do? I don't know. I just think that she might think it's ridiculous as well, <laughs> like you do. It's um, not ridiculous, actually. It's, she might get upset. In all seriousness, it doesn't... You know what? Ri- My wife actually quite likes it. Does she? I don't. I hate it. I'm not, I'm not handling it. I mean, you do have to keep it for another week, though, so... Oh, you son of a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'll give you a choice. You can... Your, your forfeit can be keeping the beard... Mm-hmm. Or uh, you can take a dangerous cocktail of drugs, like like happens to Chris Hemsworth. I'll see how it goes. See which I'll one see you want to do. I'm giving you. Right. They're equivalent, aren't they? They are the same. And so I also had a forfeit to do last week, which was to steal a plane. Uh, yeah. And that's, this is what happened. So unfortunately, I have COVID again, uh, which means I can't leave the house. But what I've done is stolen my wife's credit card and I bought a plane. So, you know, technically stolen a plane. Um, Also, it's her birthday soon and I asked her what she wanted and she said anything but a plane. So, not only have I stolen her credit card, I'm gonna give her the plane that I stole for her birthday. (laughs) What a lol, she's gonna love that. Uh, (coughs) Excuse me. So there it is. Okay, good stuff. Good. So, Eamon, mm. what are we going to watch next time? So, we're going to watch Thor, Love and Thunder. Oh! Chance for Chris Hemsworth to be properly handsome and uh, not feel bad about it. Um, lovely. Well, thank you for joining us once again. Mm-hmm. Thank you to Ben for yeah, being a lovely the guest. Best, ben. You know what, Eamon? Mm. Thank you. 
Ah, thank you. That's really nice of you. Yeah. That, so, that, yeah. yeah. Sorry. No, no, nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Okay. Good. Okay. So right. <laughs> nice speaking to you. All. <laughs> yeah. Let's just. Let's just move on. Let's, Let's just... move on. That, yeah, came to a natural conclusion, didn't it? That Nothing more to say, really, I, is there? You gave me the compliment. I received it. Let's <laughs> move on. Excellent. Okay, good. Well, you can find us on uh, the social media places. Uh, look at films on toilet, watching films on the toilet. Hmm. Film, it, film yourself on the toilet, whatever you want to do. Yeah. And don't do that. That's not us. That's and nice. um, review us, rate us, subscribe mm. to us. And we'll, we'll, we'll catch you on the next one, yeah? Absolutely. Again, Eamon, nothing, nothing more to add? No, no, other no. Other than I've... your your sign-off, I guess. Yeah, no, I mean... Do you want, I, you want I, to jump I, straight to that, or maybe... Oh, no, there's one, there is, there is, of course, there is one thing that yeah, there I is. want to say. Yeah, there is. And that was just, just to thank Ben again for being such a brilliant guest. <laughs> How amazing that, he was. Thank thank Ben the guest. Thank Ben the guest. Right. Yeah, of course. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Thank that one, that one. That one, mm. <laughs> you wouldn't. Thank, no. Thank no, okay. other, no other thanks, to you. All right. Well, I'll I'll leave it to you to finish off the the podcast in whatever way you see fit. Okay. Keep okay. flushing. Okay, that's it then. Yeah, nothing else. Absolutely zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs>